sick and tired of these niggas. So what's up y'all? I'm here today to do this quick ass video. Um, a couple of warning signs that a man is using you, you feel me? I done been through hell and back, I know. I, I know all the damn signs, but I just somehow did not listen. But anyways, let's get started. If you are talking to a man, boy, whatever you want to call it, and he only talks about sex, that man is using you. So if you're talking to a dude and all he's talking about is sex, like he don't ask you how your day went, he don't ask you how your kid's doing, he don't ask you if you're hungry, if he don't ask you if you want to um, go see a movie, but all he talk about is sex, that man is using you. My fault, y'all. The sun came out and I had to move. Like, the sun always want to do that. But anyways, just a little disclaimer. Um, excuse me. Just a little disclaimer. Just a little disclaimer. When I say a man is using you, he doesn't have to only be using you sexually. It could be financially. He could be using you for a place to stay. He could be using you to get over his ex. He could be using you so you could dress him for some food. Like, you just, it's so much ways that... I mean, it could be using you. But anyways, let me get back. Y'all, y'all know them dudes. As soon as you start talking to them, they hit you with the send me a pic. That dude is using you. Now, and if we met online and I have like 400 something pictures or you got my Instagram or you got my Facebook or my Snapchat, I have no reason to be sending you a picture. Like, you know them dudes where they know what you look like already, but they keep send me a pic, send me a pic. Oh, um, what you wearing? Um... What, what you doing? Like, all that? No. Nobody want to hear that shit. Like, send me a pic. All that, like, constant, like, pressuring you to send you a pic. You know what kind of pic he want. That man don't want no pic of you and your kid. He want a pic of you with your legs spread open on a damn counter sink or some shit like that. But anyways, that is another sign. If a man keeps saying, send, you, send me a pic, send me a pic, that's a sign, y'all. I'm telling you, like, you know what I look like already. You want more pictures. No, you want a picture of these titties and that's not gonna happen so take that as a sign another sign that a man is using you is if he don't want to bring you around nobody you ain't never met his friends you ain't never met his mother the only time you met his mother was like when you had to walk to the live through the living room to get to his room all that you don't want it if you don't talk about you like if you have never met anyone special in his life you do not mean anything to him and that's just the reality i don't know why Sometimes we like to sugarcoat shit for our friends and stuff. If you have never met his friends or family, he is using you. Like, either he's using you or he's embarrassed of you. Either way, you should want more for yourself. Oh my, yo, this shit used to get me when I was younger. If a man only want to chill at nighttime, that man is using you. Like, all day he don't hit you up. He don't ask you how your morning going. Uh, shit, if you went to school, uh, or you waiting for the bus, he don't ask you nothing. But as soon as the sun go down, he want to know where you at. Uh, can we chill? Uh, Netflix and chill. Like, all that, you don't need that. If a man is different if he works all day, that's different. But if he just blatantly don't do shit all day, but he only wants to see you at night, and he don't even write you until, like, nighttime, it's a hint. You just a one-night stand because any, anything... What's that? My platoon sergeant told me anything after 12 is inappropriate. So, that makes sense. Like, if a man is only hitting you up after late night you should know what that, that's a booty call like you should know better you should want better so take that as a sign and let that man um another sign that a man is using you is if he never want to pay my my second to last relationship i paid for everything the dude was um a higher ranking than me but i still paid for fucking everything and i didn't mind but then after we broke up i realized like yo i was dead ass gonna use like i paid for everything like it's car parts and um food and i was just being nice and i was being so naive but if you don't ever want to pay for shit, that man is using you. My new bae now, <laughs> I don't pay for shit. But anyway, that, no, that's seriously a sign though. Like if he like ask you for money and like if he keep, it's different if a man needs it. If that's your boyfriend and he down and he needs some money, that's different. But like every time you go out, you got to pay. No, like something's wrong. Like he, is, that man is. Okay, so I've also been in one of these, um, when I was how old was I? Shit, my battery's on eight percent. I was, I want to say sixteen, and I thought I was in a relationship, but obviously I was the only person in the relationship, and the other person was single. And I allowed, I allowed. What the fuck am I talking about? I allowed him to sort of kind of keep me as a secret. And ladies, you do not want to do that because it came. I came, but the shit came to light, and he had a girlfriend the whole time. So do not allow a man to keep you as a secret. 
So I'm not saying like on social media he don't post you, but like he want to chill in the basement or he want to chill at night. Like if you feel like a secret, you're a secret and you don't want to be a secret. Like I've been there and I've done it. That was my actual first heartbreak. You don't, you don't want that. You don't want to be like me for real. Another thing, another thing that women tend to not listen to is their gut feeling. It's the difference between your gut feeling and you a crazy bitch. Like it's two different. I'm a crazy bitch, but um, <laughs> oh, I'm so fucking stupid. But anyways, for real though, your gut feeling will never lie to you. Like a woman's intuition will never lie. Let me tell you something. 21 years I've been living on this earth. My gut feeling has never let me down. Not one time. So if you chilling with a dude, you have a weird feeling like, yo, something off about this dude. You need to go check your gut feeling because he could literally be a psycho. Like, he could kill you. You don't know. Like, your gut feeling is everything. Like, your gut feeling is everything. Always listen to your gut, for real. Don't be a psycho, though. Don't be looking for shit that... Don't be looking for shit that ain't for you, but... Listen to your gut feeling. Another, oh my God, another thing, which is something that I really believe in. If he don't ever reply, it's different if a man is busy. But if he on Snapchat, he's snapping. He on Facebook and he Facebooking. He on Twitter and he tweeting. And he on YouTube and he YouTubing. And you wrote him like 10 hours ago, but he didn't write back. But he, yeah, burp. excuse me y'all. And he's made it aware that like, yo, I'm on social media, like, I got, like, if he got you on Facebook, and he put shit on Facebook, but he never back to your text, no, don't, don't do that, like, if he never replies to you, you need to take that as a hint, it doesn't matter how busy someone says they are, if, even if they're, like, really, really busy, someone that wants you will always make time for you, so you need to pick up your head, uh, put your pride aside, and you need to go, like, a lot of us, well, me, my biggest fear was being lonely, I'm gonna be completely honest with y'all, so growing up, I would, how do I say this without sounding like a thought? I would seek attention in men that I knew didn't want me. So I would allow a man to use me just because it sort of kind of felt good for that day or that night. I'm being 100% honest with y'all because y'all know growing up I ain't have no um, father figure and I was kind of, it was kind of lacking in the family area, which it still is. Fuck them, fuck y'all. If y'all watching this video, fuck y'all. But, um, I didn't feel loved as a child, without well, a child, but as a teenager. So I didn't know right from wrong. So I did allow. I mean, it's like I knew better, but in the in the moment, I was like, "Shit, this is attention. I needed. I, I just wanted to feel loved. That's basically what it was. And you don't want to be like how I was. I'm telling you, you don't. You don't want to be naive. And it's okay to be lonely. Like that was my biggest fear. Like yo, I don't want to be lonely. My mom keep leaving me and going to Haiti and going to countries and shit and. I ain't have nobody, so if a dude would tell me a little bit of, you know, some little bullshit I want to hear, I would give in. So do not, I'm telling y'all ladies, we need to be strong. I'm t we need to be strong. Do not be out here letting these dudes dog you. I'm telling you, running your name through the dirt and, you know what I'm saying, like doing all kinds of mental and physical abuse shit. Maybe sexual, but I'm telling y'all, we need to be strong. So those are some signs that a man is using you. That's what I believe are signs that a man is using you. I have more... Let me know if y'all want me to do a part two to this video, but I have more, um, like, I have more videos like this. But if you guys like these kind of videos, let me know, and I will gladly make more. So, I hope you guys take my advice. I gotta go doo-doo, so, <laughs> I love y'all so much. Y'all mean the world to me. Y'all don't understand, like, how talking to a camera just... But I, for real though, I love y'all, and I appreciate all the love that y'all have been supporting me, especially on my, um, depression video, so... I'm going to go take a dump and I will talk to you guys in the next video, okay? I love y'all.